this whole daily vlogging is hard because I look like crap most of the time so that's what you guys get me looking like a homeless person last night after I ended the vlog I started editing the video and then we got a call from Dave's mom so we went over we brought the pie and we stayed there for about two three hours they made dinner so we had ribs mashed potatoes burgers what else did they have I think that's it and then we had the pie and oh my god guys that pie was so good I'm not an apple pie person I prefer chocolate things so chocolate pie chocolate cake but that damn pie was so freaking good and that is the reason why we got it because that place that we went to is known for their apple pie so that was a very good pie and last night I was so emotional I've been so freaking emotional this past couple of days like last night just being at his parents house made me so happy because it's been a very very long time since we had dinner with them just with um his parents i mean we've been over for parties and stuff like that and holidays but we haven't gone and had dinner with them in like I don't, I don't even remember when the last time we did that. So last night doing that and just talking to them and spending time with them was really, really nice. Like you, be strong to hold the powers of the sun. To dream, believe in strength, now I'm the only one. It is Monday, September 11th, and this is my first meal for today. Here I have an English muffin with one whole egg on top. So I'm going to eat that as a little sandwich. And then I have another egg here with some pulled chicken. And I'm going to add a little bit of reduced sugar ketchup. And I'm also going to be eating this half of banana that Dave left this morning. I don't want it to get nasty, so I'm just gonna eat that now. And this is the, um, these are the English muffins that I'm using. Dave's mom gave them to me yesterday, so I'm gonna use them up. So this is meal one. I'm usually not a whole egg type of person. The yolks never really interest me, but today I was craving it, so that's so good. Look at it, do you see it? Ooh. Does anyone else just love watching their dogs relax outside? <laughs> I just love watching Cider out there. Look at him. He is so cute. It's about to be 2. Let me actually look at the time. It is 1.53. I just got back from the gym. I was there for um, like an hour and a half just cleaning and doing some paperwork. So I'm going to make something to eat now. I was going to make a salad, but I have a really weird stomach ache. Like it hurts like right here. And I have a feeling that if I eat vegetables right now it's going to make it worse so so i think i'm going to just make a little snack like a little plate with snacks and have that while i watch some youtube videos and then i'm going to clean because my entire house is a mess my closet is extremely clean but the entire 
place is a mess so i'm gonna do that and then dave should be home within an hour and a half to two hours so yeah okay i decided to clean first and then make my snack but i wanted to show you guys what my mother-in-law gave me yesterday you know you're getting old when you get excited about getting gifts like this when she came over to help me make the sauce she realized that my um, towels were really like old so she got me some dish towels that i desperately needed and i'm super excited about them they are so freaking cute i'm getting rid of this box it is garbage i only have one more left and i'm gonna have it for a snack now last bag of protein popcorn I'm going to snack on this popcorn. There's still some in the bag. I'm gonna eat the whole thing. It's just like, it doesn't fit on this bowl. But you guys, seriously, you guys have to try this popcorn. The whole bag is 160 calories. Um, it is high in fat, but it is low in carb and it's so, they're so good. Like, oh man, I'm not a popcorn person, but I could eat bags of this. My favorite has to be the spicy one, but they're all good. I think you can get them at Vitamin Shop or on their website if you go to their website i will put it on the screen you guys can use my code for a discount i don't get commission or anything it just saves you guys 20 percent off mm, so good so i'm gonna eat this and i'll probably make something else this is probably just going to be something i eat while i figure out what to make i think the stomach pain that i am having has to do with heartburn so i'm going to mix one of these up with water and drink that because I can't handle this pain right now. Oh man, so gross. Oh, my stomach better feel better after this shit. This is what I'm going to eat next. I just have this huge cucumber with some lime juice and some salt. This is the one that I use. And then I also cut up a peach. So I'm gonna have this and then I'll show you guys what I make for dinner. My next meal i have some chicken greek yogurt corn and some salsa and salt and pepper so this is what i'm having now and it is 4 49. handsome you can't have this honey we just got back from the grocery store i had to go pick up some stevia so we didn't get much at all because we already went to the grocery store so I just got some rice cakes. I haven't picked up rice cakes in forever. Since prep, basically. And then we also got a coconut oil. We were out and we needed some. And then, what else did I get? Chia seeds. I wanna make overnight oatmeal. I'm gonna make it tonight. So I wanted to get some. And we just got oatmeal. And stevia, this is what I needed. This is why we went to the grocery store. So that's it. Oh, and cucumbers, because their cucumbers look really good. I'm gonna make dinner. I'm just going to have a huge salad. And then for dessert, I'm probably going to have yogurt with fruit, probably frozen fruit, and then some mini chocolate chips. So I'm going to put all that together and then I'll be back. So baby, you already ate your dinner. You already ate your dinner, little so, baby. So baby, just sit close and I'll give you some more, baby. I'm making my salad and Dave is having ice I'm cream and it's apple burnt, pie. Gelato. I didn't make it. He's having the leftover pie because if he doesn't eat it, I will eat it. So he's gonna have it. 
And he's gonna finish his ice cream. I finished mine. We bought two. I finished mine because I'm such a freaking badass. No, it's <laughs> called portion control, bro. <laughs> and then Handsome already ate his chicken. Oh, he's chasing daddy. He wants food. All right, guys. So I'm gonna make my salad. All I'm going to do is add some spring mix into this huge ass bowl. And then I'm going to grab the scissors. Where are they? Oh, I gotta wash them. And then just chop everything up. And I'm going to just put this lime juice all over it. And then I'm going to add half of this avocado, this entire tomato, and some chicken. So I'm going to mix it all up and I'll show you guys when it's done. Handsome, you already ate. You already ate, honey. You really want something to eat? If you're really hungry, you will eat this. Mommy screwed you, Saturday, baby. What is if he eats it? But he's hungry. <laughs> you want a piece of pie? He ate it. <laughs> you want a piece of pie, Saturday, baby? He can't have a piece of pie. Wait, I don't think he can eat pie. You can't eat pie, you silly puppy. No. All right, I need to make my freaking salad. So here's my dinner. I just mixed everything in this bowl and I'm also going to be adding some salt. And it is 7.14. Instead of the yogurt for dessert, I decided to just have some rice cakes. So I have three rice cakes for me and I'm still gonna eat that one. I just left it plain so I can give some to that little munchkin over there who is waiting for them. I used some of this peanut butter, a banana, and some cinnamon. It is Tuesday, September 12th, 1231. This is my first meal. I just got back from my workout. This is part one. I could tell I'm gonna be hungry today because I ran. So I have cream of wheat with half a packet of Quest protein powder, and then I added a stevia packet and a tablespoon of the Skippy peanut butter. So this is going to be meal one, part one. Still Tuesday, September 12th, 12, 12.40, post-workout part two. I really wanted more cream of wheat, but I just ran out. So instead, I made some quick oats, and um, instead of the Quest protein powder, I just added half a scoop of this Chike Berry Vanilla protein powder, and another tablespoon of peanut butter. So this is part two of my post-workout, and I'm excited, I am so hungry. It is 2.39, Tuesday the 12th, and I am having lunch. I made this bowl. It has, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it, but it has, I'm just gonna mix it. It has rice, chicken, carrots, broccoli, and zucchini. I topped it with some Greek yogurt and some salsa, and I added a little bit of coconut oil, brown rice, is really dry but if you add a little bit of coconut oil it adds like moisture and it tastes really good and buttery so that's all I have here I have chicken rice carrots broccoli zucchini and then I have the salsa and the Greek yogurt with the coconut oil and I seasoned everything with salt and pepper so this is going to be my lunch for today 2.48 now, I just had my lunch and I wanted a little dessert. So I looked at my fridge and I realized that I still had some cream cheese. I haven't had my bagels in a very long time. Well, it's been like a week or something. Um, but I still have all this cream cheese left and it expires on the 16th. So I'm trying to use it up so I don't throw it away. So I just have two rice cakes with some of the cream cheese and some of this these mini chocolate chip mini chocolate chips. So that's basically my little dessert for now. And I'll check in with you guys when I eat again. 3.45, I am having a really small snack. Well, it's not really small, but you guys know what I mean. I have a cucumber and I'm going to add some lime and salt. And then I have a peach and a plum. It is 5.05 .05 and I'm having an early dinner. I have rice, chicken, and I added some of this Chipotle ranch dressing. Again, I've had this for a while and I don't want to throw it out, so we're just trying to finish it. So this is going to be my dinner. Do you guys see the ranch? Oh, it smells so good. It is 6.31 and I'm craving something sweet and I'm hungry, so I made a bowl of yogurt 
I just have 2% Greek yogurt with stevia and then I have some frozen blueberries and some mini chocolate chips and I'm also going to have this sweet and salty nut bar. So this is probably going to be the last thing I eat today. So if I do eat anything else, I will show you guys. It is now 6.45, I just had my yogurt and I decided I, want, I wanted something else. So I put together three rice cakes with some natural peanut butter and I used about three quarters of a banana. So I'm gonna eat this, watch I zombie and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys, it is Thursday, 9.56. AM. I did vlog a little bit yesterday. I vlogged my workout. I trained at home. I woke up and I just didn't want to go to the gym. I noticed that um, the past couple of years, around this time of the year, I just don't want to lift. I just want to run and I want to do cardio. Just worked out here at home. I did a full body workout with resistance bands and it was a really good workout. You guys already saw a full day of eating from Monday and from Tuesday, so I hope you guys are enjoying all the food. Today I decided that I wanted to go into the gym and create an entire workout that shows you guys all the different training methods that I like to use. So I wrote down all the training methods that are my favorite at the moment and I'm going to basically do a voiceover and explain how to burn a lot of calories really fast. When I was on prep, I was lifting for about an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes. And then on top of that, I was doing cardio. So my workouts were a total of like two and a half hours to sometimes three hours. And I was resting in between sets. I was doing your traditional bodybuilding um, splits and bodybuilding workouts. Um, but the past couple of weeks, I've been wanting to get into the gym and just get my workout done as fast as possible. So I started adding in training methods that I used to use in 2014. And I wanted to share them with you guys in case you guys want to try them out. If you don't like machine cardio, these might be a good idea to add into your routines because they do burn a lot of calories. The training methods that I am about to share with you guys are high intensity so there is very little rest involved that's the way you burn a lot of calories it keeps your heart rate up so you burn more calories throughout your entire workout than if you were to do the traditional bodybuilding workouts so i hope you guys enjoy them and i hope you guys give them a try just a warning guys these clips are going to be very long because i'm showing you exactly what i do at the gym so i am showing you a bunch of different training methods and i basically left all the reps that i did in the video that is why the clips are going to be very long but anyways i started with a circuit today i wanted to mainly focus on my glutes so i created a workout that had a bunch of different exercises that target all my leg muscles but focused on the glutes so i started with single leg thrust with the plate and then i immediately moved on to cable pull throughs after the cable pull throughs i grabbed the plate again and i did some squats after i finished these squats i put the plate down i grabbed a barbell and i did alternating step ups and that was the entire circuit when you do a circuit you want to basically pick four or more exercises and complete them in a row without rest after you complete all the reps that you want to do for each exercise in a row without rest then you take about a minute break be before you continue all the rounds that you want to do today i did three rounds of this circuit and i was supposed to do 10 reps of each exercise but i just realized that i was only doing nine so my counting is very off but anyways i just wanted to show you guys my heart rate as well because my heart rate goes through the roof and it stays up there the entire time and that is what makes you burn a lot of calories so the first one was a circuit this next one is how i do my supersets so when i do supersets i pick two or three exercises and i complete the reps that I want to do in a row without rest and then I immediately go back to the first exercise and I repeat that until I finish all the rounds that I want to do. So usually when I do supersets, I like to do three to four rounds. So right here I am doing a wide sumo stance squat with the dumbbell and I superset that with single leg deadlift and I did 
I think I did 10 reps. I might be wrong because my counting is off, but I was supposed to do 10 reps of each, three rounds without any rest. I am speeding up some of the clips just so you guys don't see every single rep in the speed that I actually did it. But this is how I like to do supersets. So when I'm doing, let's say legs. So if I'm going into the gym and training legs, I pick three different supersets. Each superset has about two to three exercises. And I usually stick in the rep range of 10 to 12 reps. So I basically complete all three rounds back to back without any break. After I finish all the rounds that I want to do per superset, then I take about a minute break and then I move on to my next set of supersets. So that's basically what I do when I complete supersets. A lot of people tend to rest after you know, doing one round of each superset, but I don't. I just like to keep going until I'm done. But we basically talked about circuits and we talked about supersets. The next training method that I like to use is adding some sort of cardio exercise to a weight lifting exercise. You, you know, it's very common for people to do leg exercises supersetted with like jump squats or jumping lunges but i wanted to show you guys something different so i picked two different supersets that required a cardio exercise and a lifting exercise i picked one for shoulders and one for back so the first one was a seated arnold shoulder press and i supersetted that with battle rope. The battle rope is the cardio exercise and the Arnold shoulder press is the lifting exercise. So by adding a cardio exercise to your weight training, you're increasing your heart rate and you're burning more calories. And you basically do your cardio and your weight lifting in one sitting. So that's another thing I like to add when I am training and I want to just get in the gym and get things done. This way I get cardio and training all in one. The second superset I did was for back and I also added a little bit of shoulders for the cardio exercise. So I did a single arm dumbbell row and I superseted that with dumbbell shoulder punches. I did a cross, so like I did, um, I don't know how to explain it, so I did punches across, if that makes sense, and then I did straight. I tried to do 10 reps of each, and I just basically did it until like my shoulders were toast. And that's another cardio exercise that you can add into your upper body workouts, dumbbell punches. It is freaking amazing. It gets your heart rate up, you work your abs, you work your shoulders, and it brings your heart rate up so you burn a lot of calories. So those two are the supersets that I did today that required a cardio exercise and a lifting exercise. Moving on to full body exercises. Oh man, these get your heart rate up and it sucks, but it's good at the same time. So lately I've been doing a lot of full body workouts just because I've been getting back into running. So I don't want to lift too heavy and I don't want to be sore because my runs are really important right now. So I've been doing a lot of full body workouts. Uh, I could, you could do full body workouts with basically anything. You could do it with body weight, you could do it with resistance bands, with the cables, with dumbbells, with barbells, with machines. It's crazy how much you can do. So I did two different circuits today for a full body workout. I started with a reverse lunge into an upright row. Then I moved on to straight leg deadlift with a shoulder front raise. And then I did a split squat with a shoulder press. And then I did a forward lunge with a lateral raise. I did 10 reps of each, a total of three rounds, and that gets your heart rate up. Try that one out, that one was crazy. The first full body circuit worked my shoulders and my legs. So for the second full body circuit, I really wanted to focus on arms and shoulders and some sort of leg exercise because let's be honest, you can never work your legs too much, right? So anyways, the first little combination that I did was a kneeling thrust with a shoulder press into a squat. So that was one rep and I did five reps in total because that one was very hard and I could not do 10. So after that one, I did a kneeling curl into a shoulder press into a tricep extension and all of that was one rep. Again, I only did five because it burnt like crazy. Right after that one, I moved on to a back and rear delt 
little combination. So I did a row into a rear back fly into a squat up, if that makes sense. So all of that was one rep. And again, I only did five reps in total because that one, was, that one was really hard too. So basically this entire circuit, except the last exercise, I only did five reps. And then I finished with a renegade row to work my core and to work my back. The last training method is one of my favorites. So I basically saved the best for last. You burn so many calories when you time your workouts because you see the timer and you know you have a certain amount of time left and you push yourself even more. So lately I've been adding some interval training into every workout. So if I train legs, I will do some plyometrics with a timer. If I train upper body, I'll do the battle rope with the timer. Or if I'm working out at home, I just do a bunch of different exercises with a timer. So today I picked the 20 seconds on 10 seconds off eight rounds a total of four minutes I did 20 seconds of flat bench jump squats and then a 10 second rest and then I moved on to some push-ups now my back was shot so I had to add a little pike in order for me to complete the entire 20 uh, seconds so after the push-ups I rested for 10 seconds and then I moved on to a pop squat I did 20 seconds of that and then I rested again 10 seconds and I finished the little circuit with some mountain climbers on the flat bench. That was one round, but it's only half. So that was, I believe, two minutes. So then you get another 10 second rest and you go back to the first exercise and you repeat 20 seconds of each in a row with a 10 second rest in between each one. So I hope that makes sense. So it's basically, I pick four exercises and I do 20 seconds of each resting 10 seconds in between each one that is one round and i do two rounds so it's a total of four minutes but you're only resting 10 seconds in between each exercise so your heart rate does not go down your heart rate stays up and you burn a ton of calories i will write down the breakdown for each workout down in the description below so if you guys want to give it a try go ahead i did all of these in one day just because I wanted to film it for you guys, but I don't recommend doing everything that I did in one day. Try to pick one training method, one little thing that I did and add it into your workout and let me know how it goes. And if you are really fit and your endurance is really up there, then you can try everything that I did like I did myself today. I burned a total of like 800 calories and that didn't involve any cardio machine. So that was pretty good and I worked my entire body so that is going to be it for this vlog i know it's very long and i know this these workout clips are super super long so i hope you guys still enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you did and i will see you guys uh, tomorrow <laughs>